Welcome back. In this one, we'll see how to implement Bootstrap in our Django project. By the way, what is Bootstrap? Well, Bootstrap is the most popular CSS framework for designing responsive and uh, mobile first websites. Uh, if you don't know Bootstrap, no problem, but you must know HTML and CSS. In HTML, we use a CSS to style the website or make the website responsive. But in Bootstrap, it gives you a lot of classes that already has, you know, that already comes with the inbuilt styling. So you don't need to write CSS properties manually. The only thing you do in Bootstrap is adding the correct class names to your HTML tags. Bootstrap also gives you ready-made components uh, such as forms, uh, tables, uh, you know, navbars, etc. Uh, you can simply copy the component from the Bootstrap's documentation and use it wherever uh, you want in the project okay so if you want to learn more about bootstrap there is this website called w3schools.com okay w3schools.com so in this website you you can learn a lot of things about web development okay so here you can learn html css bootstrap uh, so many things okay so uh, you can learn uh, bootstrap 5 from here all right so these are the basic tutorial for uh, starting up with bootstrap anyways uh, i'm not going too deep into uh, learning bootstrap in this course because this is a particularly a django course okay all right now to implement bootstrap in our django project the only thing that you need to do is include the cdn to our project cdn means a content delivery network uh, it provides necessary css and javascript to load the bootstrap based components okay so First of all, what we need to do is we need to go to this get bootstrap.com. Okay, get bootstrap.com. Here you see include via CDN. So these two uh, links you can copy from here. Okay, copy to clip clipboard and go to your home.html uh, just above your head tag. Okay, just above your head tag ending here and uh, you know co copy and paste that and again this one is a script tag this is also a cdn so this will give you inbuilt uh, uh you know javascript code to load the bootstrap components okay copy these two uh link and script tags and paste it just above this uh, closing head tag okay so now at this point your bootstrap should be working okay save the file and refresh it okay now you can see font has been changed that means bootstrap is actually loading so if you want to see that just uh, right click and uh, view page source here you can see just above the closing head tag we have included the uh, bootstrap bootstrap.min.css okay bootstrap.min.css this is actually uh, loading the inbuilt css uh, properties okay all right and so to check or to verify whether bootstrap is working or bootstrap components are working in your project then you can simply go to this get bootstrap.com and uh, here in the documentation you can uh, see a lot of things um, see from tables you know if you go to these tables you can simply copy these tables and all okay so I will copy this table code okay and uh, in the body i will paste it here and uh, refresh okay you can see uh the table is uh, printing here okay so you know what what i'll do is i'll simply say Control z okay i'll undo it and i'll add a class uh, you know i'll add do with a class of container container is a bootstrap class okay container so that it gives a proper margin and padding uh, in our web page okay so inside this uh, class container i will add my table all right now refresh okay you can see we have a little bit of uh, padding uh, at the right and uh, you know left side okay so this one i want this one also to be inside the 
container so what i'll do i'll simply cut this h1 tag and i will put it inside the container okay so instead of i have implemented django template what i'll do i will say employee list okay so employee list simply refresh all right you can see employee list is printing here and uh, it, let's say i want to give some padding on top of this uh, employee list text so what i can do to this uh, class container i can say pt-5 okay so this will be padding top pt means padding top okay refresh and you see there is a padding uh, for my uh, container okay so i have printed this uh, em employee list is because uh, for you know for learning the database things i am thinking of uh, you know i'm thinking of storing the employee list or student list inside the database so that's why i just thought you know i should uh, print this here anyways if you want to make it uh, student list employee list whatever list you want to do just go ahead and do this okay so this is how we implement the boost app but uh, this is not a full-fledged uh, designing okay we are concentrating on django okay we are learning django for that reason we need at least a little bit of printed things right so that's why i have put this uh, bootstrap in this project okay so in the next one uh, we'll see how we can load the static files okay so that is actually a very important topic in django okay so we'll see you in the next one